What's up guys, John here from Titan, and I'm down here in Tampa, Florida at Titan headquarters out of our state-of-the-art facility here in Channelside. That's right, downtown. So we have this beautiful facility. We wanna make sure our patients got the best care and best service possible. So we had to have the best, right? But I wanna take you on the outside of the building and maybe show you some things that will motivate you, hopefully, to get on your own health and wellness journey with Titan Medical Center. So follow me, guys, let's go outside. What steps are you taking to progress in your health, fitness, and even immunity these days, right? Our goal here at Titan Medical Center is to help you achieve long-lasting, healthy results, whether it be weight loss, lean muscle mass, or just want a better quality of life. So along with these different things, have you guys ever had vitamin or amino acid injectables? They're great. Higher absorbency, fastest transportation rate you're gonna get, and great results, and that's the key. And like I said, are you ready for your results? Well, you gotta be ready to get some results, but the first thing you do is you need to contact us. We can help you guys rejuvenate yourself. We can also help you in all aspects of your life, from mental aspects to physical aspects, to even stepping up in the bedroom, right? We're focused on your health 24-7. We want to make sure that we are giving you guys the proper care at the best possible service that we can offer. We also have new IV drips. So if you guys are local or you guys are flying in, please come on down and get an IV drip. You guys can do multiple different things of nutrients, amino acids, vitamins, super antioxidants, and a lot more. And it's not an easy journey, but we're going to be there for you in all the situations that you guys are gonna go through, we've been doing this for nine years. So we can help you guys navigate through this journey of health and wellness for yourself. Time travel rejuvenation detox, glutathione. It's a super antioxidant. It's great for the immune system. It's great for free radicals and a number of different other things. And if you guys are thinking, hey, listen, I'm having other symptoms of possibly issues that I don't know, it could need bioidentical hormone replacement therapy for males and females. So if you guys are interested in any of these services that I talked about or want to be a, a part of the Type Medical Center family and help your journey for health and wellness, then call us today, 727-389-3220. You can also text that number if you guys are always on the go like I am. If you want to check it out later, TitanMedicalCenter.com. I'm John from Titan, and I'm looking forward to you to become part of the Type Medical Center family. New Year's Eve, we're at Water. As you can see, Titan Medical Center is a sponsor here for the third year. We got Mario Lopez in the building. He's going to be breaking it down for New Year's. We can't wait to bring in 2020, end of the decade. Time for a brand new year and a brand new you. Guys, do not forget, 2020 is going to be your year. So get with Titan today. So 
this is real life Sharif's problems. Real life Sharif's problems right here. New Year's Eve, we got line backing up out here, and she's looking for stuff in her damn purse. Her purse! I mean, what does she have in this thing? This thing's like, I mean, if you see this thing, you can put everything in here. So, we'll have to see. Hopefully she's got her Titan therapies that are gonna get her through the night and New Year's. So she can feel good oh, all the way out here. See that? ECA. My lightsaber! John here at Titan and uh, New Year's coming but you know what we don't stop here at Titan so we just got a fresh batch of new leggings tight leggings uh, brawls sports brawls new designs that maybe you guys have never even seen before well I know you haven't for sure because they're brand new so I want to check out what we got here these are from my, my friends over in Columbia so uh, let's see what we got in the boxes right All bagged up. So this is the most professional I've ever seen these things come. Um, usually they're just like tied together in these wraps, but each individually wrapped. This is really, really, really cool. Sports bras. We got blue, pink. Oh man. So these are the new snakeskin ones in black. Wow. Can't wait. This. Let's see what these look like. Oh man, that's kind of cool. I guess the black really does. It blends in there too, huh? I mean, next time we'll have to go white on that bad boy. That's a new design. New, different design. What else we got in here? We got our classic camos, green camos, gray camos. What else we got in here? Oh, I've been waiting on these. I think all the girls and stuff have been waiting on these. So, this is our other version of our snakeskin which is really, really cool. I like these a lot. I want to personally design these. So these are fire. These came out great. Wow. So now you have a snakeskin version of Titan Medical Center. And uh, you can see this really, really well. So I'm really happy with these. I think a lot of girls are gonna like these. So let's see what else we got here. Got our gray and we got the matching sports ball to go with it. Oh man, let's get to let's see this thing. Snakeskin official. Looking good. I'm liking this a lot. Here we go. Let's see what else we got. got our blues. Let's see what's in box number two. All right. So we got some solid blues here. So they should be more vibrant than before. Like that blue. That royal blue. This is our tight medical center original color here. Loving it. More snake skin, our gray and black. These are really nice. I don't want to open two of these, but oh yeah, these are good. A little shadowing on back. Those look really, really good. So guys, if you're looking for a late gift or you want your girls to start New Year's resolutions right, Tight Medical Center definitely has them covered. Let's see what else we got. 
Of course, we got our reds in. Red fire, fire red. Oh yeah, those are good. Really good. Nice, nice, nice. And we got the pants to match all these. Pink. Fire. Pink tops. The Team Titan on back. Ready to go. Here's a legging. Oh, that's a top. Let's see what's in this one. More and more leggings. Got blue leggings, camo. Wow, these look vibrant. Really like those. Look good, right? Nice. So here it is. We got four boxes of a lot of leggings, a lot of sports bras, new designs, more vibrant colors for you guys. 2020 is out the door. 2021 is in. Here we go. So guys, you guys can get these online. Are these new designs? We'll have them up there shortly, but you guys can call me, 727-389-3220. Hey guys, John from Titan here, and we have a special guest. We have Joseph here, and he came in from Chicago, Illinois. Mm -hmm. right? Yes. So the cold weather, so he's getting some of this warm weather. Yes, yes, yes. Cool, so he got to come down, kind of experience Titan, the process, meet our medical mm -hmm. doctor, go through the process. So what did you think about the Titan experience as far as you coming down and... It was a, it's a good experience, you know. Uh, everybody, first of all, when I walked in, very inviting, very nice. Uh, everyone came in, talked to me, very informative. Mm -hmm. The doctor was awesome, explained everything, answered every single question. There was not hesitation, you know, and just very friendly, very, I, I don't want to say family oriented, but that's what's coming to my mind. Oh, cool. it's, it's, it's really cool. Yeah. So I, that's I that's where we like to be. Yeah. So the medical doctor answered all your questions. Yeah. You got to meet yep. with the medical yep. doctor. Yep. Awesome, awesome. And why did you choose Titan Medical Center? You know, actually, one of my buddies, I'm going to give him a plug, Bobby Ott, okay. is with you guys. And he, he recommended you. Um, you know, I've been having some different medical issues and mm -hmm. stuff that I want to take care of. Um, and he recommended it. And so I kind of researched you guys. I found you on Facebook. And then on the internet and kind of researched everything what you guys do watched a lot of your videos and okay. i was like you know what this seems like people that i would want to work with and, and that's why i decided to fly down because I, I like to meet people in person Absolutely. so you know what i mean it was um and that's that's basically how i chose it just research yeah, yeah. so we love it you know we have patients that fly in from from other you know other states and stuff mm -hmm. like that to come see us and being able to go through this process and you getting to see our doctor right on the spot and mm -hmm. get him answering our questions we right. can't wait to help you in your uh Oh, I'm looking forward. forward to it, definitely. I'm so, excited. Uh, if there's anything else we can help you with, please let us know. Guys, if you guys want to be a patient, you guys can fly in. You guys yep. can do a video conference with our doctor. You will see a medical doctor. He will prescribe a regimen towards you. And uh, this is just living proof here. So we want to thank right. you, Joseph, for coming down. Definitely. I appreciate, I appreciate it. it. And we look forward to helping you reach your goals. Excellent. What's up guys? I'm John. And I'm Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. This segment we designed for couples out there to get the utmost out of their relationships, reignite those relationships possibly, 
and just get back to being better to each other, right? So there's a lot of different things that we cover every week for you guys, and we try to come up with really good topics that we've encountered or have helped us in our relationship develop to where it is today. And, you know, we've been through a lot of different things. So I started thinking about today, I'm like, you know, what are, what are a couple good subjects that we can really talk about? Sometimes we talk about tips and tricks, or we talk about different therapies that can help you guys out in your relationships and stuff like that. But it's really, you know, there's some questions out there that you need to ask yourself, or maybe you ask your partner. You know, and then you guys come together and maybe you come up with these answers together. You guys might have your own single answers. Mm-hmm. You know, you can share these with your partner too, and you guys just might take this up together and this challenge that you guys can both accomplish, right? So let's talk about some of these different things, some of these different questions. The first question is, what dreams do you have? Now, this is a really good question. Now, you might have dreams coming up when you were a little kid, and sometimes those dreams go aside as we grow as into adult. Uh, you know, you might have more more dreams or as you become an adult, you know, a or dream you job. Might have or to meet someone and then combine dreams. Right, right, right. You can still have those single dreams sometimes. Mm-hmm. It just, you know, is it can conflict with your relationship? And most of the times it's probably not, and your partner should probably support most of those dreams. But there might be some different things that you can only do as a single person too. So <laughs> let, let's take that in consideration. So these dreams, what are these dreams and what do they mean to you? So like... You know, my dream was, listen, I want to grow up, I want to have a family, I want to be successful in business, you know, I want to have some kids, you know, I just want to have a pretty good life. And I think a lot of people have those dreams, right? And, uh, you know, at that point, like, since I've grown, you know, those dreams have pretty much stayed the same. I wanted my family, I want a successful business, I want to be healthy, I want to be strong, you know, but there could be certain body types you're looking to get into, certain jobs, um, so that's really up to you. You know, what are these dreams? Or it could be a whole different thing as you as a, a couple together mm-hmm. and what your dream is together. Maybe, you know, buying that certain house, going on a different vacation, you know, accomplishing things together as a, a couple, right? So that's just some of the different things you guys can think about. And think about really what is your dream or what was your dream. And you can still accomplish these dreams, right? With your partner or by yourself. Yeah, it's never too late. It's never too late. So. Don't ever crap out on your dreams. Don't ever forget about those dreams, right? Those give you purpose. Those give you motivation. Those could be things that have um, chiseled you out or your character out as a person. Mm -hmm. So don't forget about those, all right? So the next one is, what do you have planned for the future? And this goes right along with dreams. Right, it's the same thing, kind of. Kind of, right? But the future, it could be your future along with your partner's future because we're talking about couples here. Mm -hmm. So what does that future entail? Now... Over the years, you know, as you grow together as a couple, I think your future, your your goals will align more with what your partner is. Um, so you guys can stay together. You guys have the same goal, the same mission to accomplish this future together. So let me give you an example. So for me and Sharice, like our future was, all right, listen, you know, we wanted to make sure that our, our future is secure. So we started thinking now, right? about investments or, you know, what's going to secure us financially later. Mm -hmm. This was something for our future. Especially with everything going on now. If we say what we were doing maybe five years ago versus what we're doing now impacted by this pandemic, you know, it might change things. This is what we're talking about. Things might change from year to year. Things might change in decades. You know, things might change in blocks. Something might come up and then it changes once again. So it really just depends, you know. I mean, as long as your husband has a good life insurance policy, then we're all (laughs) set, right? (laughs) The wife too, right? (laughs) So, yeah. So, I mean, you want to take your future serious and you want to take in consideration what your future holds. A lot of people are like, well, I don't want to plan for the future. I just ride by the seat of my pants, you know, and I, I might not, I might die tomorrow. I might get hit by a bus, so I got to live today like it's my last day. It's true, but. Well, listen, you want to live in that light for sure. You don't want to let opportunities pass. You don't want to live your best life, but you got to plan for the future because most likely you're going to be around a lot longer than you think you're going to be around. Yeah. So it's always good to plan for the future. And even if you're not going to be around, you want to plan for the future of your spouse, of your children, you want to make sure their future is secured. So for me, financial, you know, is, is what I'm looking for the future, like to secure financial stability, uh, to make sure my family's taken care of, even if I'm not here, which hopefully I am. 
But yeah, we don't <laughs> at that point, anywhere. if I'm gone, they're going to be taken care of. Their futures are going to be taken care of. And that's really one of the big important things to me, even today. Uh, you know, before that was, make sure my family's taken care of. But before my, my, my future, I was thinking, listen, you know, I, I want to travel like all around the world. You know, I want to do this in my future and stuff like that. But as time changes and as we grow older and as our goals together as a couple, um, they start evolving. That's when I want to secure the future for that. So your future plans might be a whole lot different. It might be, I'm going to move to California in five years. I'm going to become an actor. I'm going to, you know, do this. I'm going to do that. So it's really up to you to individualize about what you want to do for your future and for you as a couple, like what your future entails and what you guys are going to do. And you guys should have some sort of a plan, either written down or you guys discuss it in detail. Not just, you know, just going, you know, just talking about here, this and that. I'm like, oh, yeah, that'd be cool. No, you guys, if you guys want to set up the future, set goals to get and hit those future goals. Mm -hmm. right? Different milestones for you. Different milestones, for sure. So it brings me to my next question to you guys. You know, what is the biggest adventure in life to date that you have had? And this could be a wide range of different things, right? Well, I mean, definitely mine, I have to say. Okay. All right, because... Obviously, we think adventure, you think like an adventure, like a ride or something like outrageous. But in my specific scenario, when I was growing up, you know, my parents work a nine to five job. My dad actually worked three jobs, to be honest with you, just to make the ends meet. Mm -hmm. So we did not grow up, you know, super, super rich or anything like that. We just lived paycheck to paycheck. So when me and John had this company and we started it, I never thought like in a million years when we opened the company eight years ago that it would be what it is today. So in that eight years, I have eight years of adventure, all right? And this adventure includes learning new things, going through trials and tribulations, making mistakes, <laughs> learning from the mistakes, um, and then, you know, growing as not just a couple and, you know, husband, wife, team in um just our relationship but growing in a professional standpoint too so you know there's a lot of different things that have happened in those eight years that have made us who we are today and that has been quite an adventure i might say i'd have to say so too <laughs> i've done a lot of adventurous things in my life right but my biggest adventure i would have to say and i agree with sharice is creating Titan medical center and going into this, you know, where me and her are working together side by side, 24 seven, all day, riding together, talking together and creating this business. You know, it's a huge adventure. And let me tell you why. Because when you go on an adventure, sometimes there's risk. Well, with starting your own company and you having no other options, that's one of the biggest adventures I think I've ever been on. Yeah. Because nothing is guaranteed. Nothing was guaranteed. Mm -hmm. uh, I would say probability, everybody thought we were going to fail. Yeah, majority. Know? From parents to friends, the people we didn't know. In the beginning, we really just didn't have a support team. We, the we, support we, team was each other. Right. We would push each other. You right. know, there might be a day that I'd wake up and I'm like, ugh. Man, I'm just, I'm tired. I'm tired. I don't want to. I'm just, I, you really, are you sure? I would ask him that probably, I don't know, maybe every like quarter I would ask him, like, are you sure? Are you, we're going to do this. This is what's coming next. We're going to do this. Are you sure about that? I don't know about that. I would be the, you know, negative Nancy. You know, I stay negative Nancy and he's positive Polly, let's call him. But, you know, it's, uh, it's good to have a team like that. So everybody's always looking, at least somebody's looking at the half cup full and somebody's looking at the half cup empty. And you have a really good team if you can have both of those on the same um, voting board, per right, se. Right. So, you know, it's, 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 been, it's been a nice little trip. It's been a huge adventure. Uh, it's been a huge payoff. So at that point, you know, creating this, seeing this, uh, our business, our medical practice thrive, patients around the country, our relationship has grown the exact same way. So we've grown even more together. And that's one thing I think going on an adventure together will help you guys along with was bonding. And this adventure could be anything. It doesn't anything. have to be a business. Yeah. It could be you guys going on a trip. You guys going to Yellowstone Park and camping out there and you guys having this big adventure of staying up, whatever it is. But there's always adventures out there for you guys to take advantage of. Now, having your biggest adventure to date, you might have one singly, right? Mm -hmm. But have one together with a couple and you guys can always reminisce about these things, talk about these things, look back and think on these things. I'm like, wow, like 
I, I can't believe it. What a journey this has been, and what an adventure this has been, and what a ride. Mm -hmm. So strap in, get ready, <laughs> and set your feet and your task for this adventure that's, together. That's not what you told me when you got me on the back of that four-wheeler in Cabo. He did not tell me to strap in. Oh, hold on tight. Yeah, okay, as I'm screaming in his ear, like, we have a child, we need to go back home, don't kill us. <laughs> Now, that was my biggest adventure. Oh, my God. If that was the biggest adventure, watch out. <laughs> but, yeah, so these are just some questions to ask yourself, ask your partner, and you guys talk about. This guy. This will set some different things up for you guys for your future, hopefully, in your endeavors or personal relationship, uh, children, all these different things. You guys need to set up for your future. Don't forget about your dreams. Don't put them on the wayside. Make sure your partner supports your dreams as long as it's applicable for both as a couple. Um, and make sure you guys have that adventure together. Have one of the biggest adventures in your whole life, whether it's traveling or, or doing something you guys have never done, whether it's skydiving or whatever it may be. You guys, make sure you guys have that adventure because you only have one life to live and you guys gotta make sure you guys are taking uh, full advantage of it, right? Because you guys are not gonna get a second chance. Mm -hmm. So these are just some of the tips and tricks that me and Sharice would like to throw out there for you guys. This is more of, you know, some uh, some some tips that, or some, some educational things, I guess, that me and Sharice have learned um, to, to grasp and to thank God for that we've had. So thank God for the adventure that we've had to date. Hopefully we'll have many more adventures, bigger than this one to date, but we'll see. Yep. So thanks, guys, for tuning in to another Cupid's Corner every Sunday on ABC at 11 a.m. You guys can also check out our Facebook, our Instagram, Twitter. Make sure you guys check out the YouTube if you guys want to check out past episodes. They're all on there for you guys to check out. Make sure you guys hit that bell, all notifications. I appreciate you guys tuning in. I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we'll see you next week with another Cupid's Corner. Thanks, guys. <laughs>